What is up guys, oh it's the I here, or Alex if you can call me, I don't mind, and I'm bringing you some Modern Warfare 3 gameplay, as I usually do, but again, I'm not going to be talking about the gameplay, and you're probably thinking, do you ever actually talk about the gameplay, and at the moment, the answer to that one is, no, I do not, because for the reason being, I've kind of gone off Modern Warfare 3 a lot, like, it's just pissing me off, and Whereas, when I bought it, we all know, like, you just can't get off it. But now, I, I can, I want to play other games. It's like, it's got to that sort of period where I want to be playing Minecraft, Gears of War, Skyrim, them, them sort of games. And I think they're enjoyable, because I, I just think, well, YouTube's just so saturated with Modern Warfare 3. It's like, everyone does it. I mean, you've got to admit that everyone does do Modern Warfare 3. And I've been watching so much Gold Glove like because he does Gears of War and I've been watching so many other people because they do different things and it's nice to see a change so that's why I'm not doing too many gameplay commentary tip videos lately but my subject of today's com is actually from the decade that I grew up in the 90s okay I'm going to be talking about the 90s um, the reason being I was just checking Facebook the other day and a f good friend of mine he posted the Keenan Kel theme tune and if you don't know what Keenan Kel is you obviously you've missed out on a lot in your life but it's um, a show with like uh, two black teenagers in America and they just oh, it was just so funny so I thought oh what's all the programs that I used to watch so I, I went through and like found all the old programs I used to watch all the old music the fashions and it was just really good looking back and um going to be talking about that really because I know when I was a younger I well in my house we had Sky and if you don't know what Sky is it's like a TV service it's got like a thousand channels on it it's basically like cable for America right for England I guess I guess that's what it is but not 100% sure but yeah so I had Sky and Sky in the 90s because English TV is is good but English kids TV is shit so Sky was just full of American shows okay so it was Keenan and Kel, Rugrats, um, like Fresh Prince, Scooby Doo, Sabrina, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, Johnny Bravo, Dexter's Lab, Pokemon, these sort of things okay this was just filled like the kids section in Sky and I used to live, I used to basically spend my life watching this shit no it wasn't shit it was good it was good stuff, you know, and um, I actually watched a few episodes of Keenan and Kel the other day, and I still enjoyed it, and I was just thinking, like, they don't do stuff like this anymore, it's like, yeah, it's all so boring now, it's like, uh, I don't know, I just, I'm not, obviously I don't watch kids TV, I'm not, I just don't want to let that one go, do I, no, um, I don't, obviously pay attention to that sort of side thing I've got younger siblings and younger cousins and stuff who watch that shit but I don't really pay attention to it because to me the best programs are like Keenan and Kel and they were just so good I mean I remember getting in from school putting on my what's up what's up jumper my jeans and just chilling out and watching Keenan and Kel like a G a five year old G now I know people that were born in the late 90s, like 98, 99, won't remember any of the stuff I'm talking about, but if you're born in 93, 94, 95, the, the early 90s, sort of like what I'm talking about, where I was born from, then, then the 90s was a good decade, you know, and I was actually thinking, was it just because we were like kids and everything's easy when you're a kid? Yeah, probably, but my mum even said, I was like, I talked to the Marge about it. I was like, "Mum, what's was the nice like?" She just said, "It was just so chilled out. It was just a nice, not it was a nice decade. Everything wasn't too serious." And I thought that was, that sounds awesome because now everything is everything is really serious. It's like you can't fart without someone su suing you. You know, it's just everyone is up their own ass and that. And it's just nice to reminisce. I mean, if you can remember, I'm oh, sorry, guys. I just like. I don't know what happened there, like, I went to sneeze and I didn't, so it was kind of like a false alarm there. But yeah, if you remember cassettes from VHSs, and if you still own any of them, you are a G, okay? Because I remember having all the Disney films on VHS, having to rewind them all, once you watched it, you have to rewind it all with like a pen or some shit, just to watch it again. And cassettes, exactly the same, you have like all your albums on it, 
And I remember CDs and DVDs being introduced, and this was like late 90s, early two, uh, 2000s sort of time. And a DVD player, I remember my dad going out buy one, it was a Sony black DVD player, and he went and got a new TV. And this TV was massive, okay? It must have been about 32 inches, which was huge at the time. It, it, ah, oh, it wasn't flat screen. It was all, it was huge. The thing was massive, and it um, set him back like a grand, okay? And then he bought the DVD player with it, and the DVP player was like 120 quid. Just, cause it just came out. And I remember getting Harry Potter on uh, DVD. Now this wasn't in the 90s, but this was like when DVDs were getting big, and um, I just remember it was amazing, you didn't have to like, get a fucking pen out of the cupboard and rewind it all, it was just crazy, and it was awesome, it was awesome like, thinking back that you've lived through like, the change, like the, the periods of where things have changed, and also Walkmans, I remember having my Walkman, my Sony CD player Walkman, and I remember I had my little bag of CDs where I used to have like, my Vanilla Ice, like top hits with Vanilla Ice, House of Pain, Jump Around, the two pack, um, Rappers and Heart, all that sort of stuff. That was the good stuff. I remember having that and listening to that all the time. And it was it's crazy to like, tell someone now, if they're tell a six or seven year old that if you want to listen to another album, you'd actually have to go into a bag, get the CD out, put it in the player, select what song you want to play, instead of just go. Like on your iPod or whatever. Shit was, it was more complicated but it was easier if you know what I mean. It's, it's, things were simple back then. It wasn't so complicated. And it's just, eh, it's weird. But I actually thought it was quite weird the other day. It's actually like a bit of a deja vu. I went round uh, family and I've got a few little cousins. And uh, surprise, surprise, what film was on Dumb and Dumber? And Dumb and Dumber... Um, Ace Ventura, The Mask, all great Jim Carrey films, also Liar Liar, all from the 90s. And my little cousins, they love these films, they can't get enough of them. And I'm sitting down watching them with them, like, oh my god, this is amazing. Like, I can't believe I haven't watched this in ages, but The Mask, The Mask was an amazing film. It's just, it's so weird to think back to, like, what you used to, like, watch when you were young and what kids watch now. But it was just nice to see, because... They they were actually watching it on VHS as well, which is like a blast from the past. Because my auntie and uncle they were like uh, in their twenties in the nineties. They absolutely love it. That was like their time period, and uh, they they've kept all the stuff. So it was really awesome seeing that being used again. So it it was a nice deja vu, not one of them freaky ones. If you go back in time and like turn out a spider or some shit. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what deja vu really is, but hey, what can you do? Yeah, it was, this is a pretty random comp for you guys, more of a rant to be honest, about the good old days <laughs> when I was about seven, chilling out, you know, just hanging loose. But I must admit, um, oh, what was it the other day? I, not the other day, but like quite a while ago, I watched American Pie for the first time, I must have been about 13, 14, so it was actually a good few years ago. And... That was obviously, I think that's from 98 or 99, and that has got to be my favourite film ever made. And it's quite nice, really, sort of looking back at the decade and watching stuff that the decade you're from, but you didn't actually know was around at the time, because obviously as a six-year-old you're not going to watch American Pie. It just really isn't in your best interests. So yeah, it was just, you know, it's, it's kind of cool to look back, but yeah, I've, I've probably waffled on a bit too much now, guys, but hey. One thing, actually two things I've got to say. Um, I'm having a new background done by Robot. We're just going to be redesigning the whole look of the channel and giving it a brand image. But that's all on Hush Hush. Can't tell you any more details because it should be awesome. Just got to get a few more things sorted out and then we're good to go. Um, you're going to see a lot less Modern Warfare 3 as well. I'm going to be honest guys. I'm going to have my Modern Warfare 3 Mondays that I love. But... I'm not going to be filling the channel up with it, okay? I'm not going to be saturating the channel with Modern Warfare 3. The pure fact is, I don't enjoy it as much, and also I can't say that I I enjoy to watch it as much. So you could be seeing more Gears of War, Minecraft, Skyrim, um, My Little Pony, 
Nintendogs, all them awesome games, you know, I was joking about the last two guys, you don't, you don't worry about them, but yeah, that is about it really, I mean, I don't really know what else to say, that is it, I was, it was a bit of a reminisce, calm looking back, and I just want to give you guys an idea of where I'm heading now, to be honest, so I've, I've got my direction straight on YouTube, which is awesome, and I'm looking forward to, well, whatever YouTube has to throw at me, and hopefully it's not bricks or anything, so that would fucking hurt, but yeah, See you later guys, that's about it.